Less than two weeks after Justin Bieber released his new album, he is now celebrating a new accomplishment. The 25 year old's album changes debuted at the top of the Billboard 200 chart. It becomes his seventh number one album, making him the youngest solo artist to ever achieve that many. That means he even eclipsed Elvis Presley with the honor. The King garnered seven number one albums from 1961 to just before his 27th birthday. Bieber turns 26 on March 1st. Today, a very big day. Mardi Gras. I saw oh, some wait, uh, wait. video of the, uh, what do you got? I saw some oh, wait, video wait. of the parade oh, in New Orleans. Get, get, you know, you're, you're not dressed right for, for this. I'm there you wrong. go. Okay. <laughs> okay. We got, we got more to come. Okay. More to come. Yeah, we are yeah. celebrating Mardi Gras. I got my purple on. There we go. He's got his beads. Well, hold on. You've got your beads. Yep. All right. Fiona's all dressed in, in purple and everything for Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have a, have a couple more things. Uh oh, she got all kinds <laughs> of stuff here. Okay. Of course, this is oh, yeah. Fat Tuesday. <laughs> yes. We are celebrating that in big style, right? Oh, yes. There is always something to celebrate. Yes, especially tonight mm -hmm. with the Zulu Association annual Mardi Gras party, and Eric Ruggs is here. So, what's going on tonight? It's going to be a whole lot of celebrating. Good food, good music, good friends. We want to invite everyone out. We had a new location this year. We're still partnering with the VFW Post, but we had the VFW Post 9186. Want to invite you out there. Come on out at 650 East White Boulevard. All right, and come how much is out. it? Anybody can come? $10. Anybody wow. can come if they're over 21. <laughs> and it's bigger and better, better parking also, absolutely, right? Absolutely, okay. absolutely. Fantastic. All well, right. of course, Fat Tuesday is all about... Yes, lots Ooh. and lots of cake. The king cake tradition is part of Mardi Gras celebrations. And, of course, Nadler's, Baker, Nadler's Bakery is here to dish on... The, the delish on this dessert that's r as rich in history as it is in flavor. Yes, king cakes, king mm -hmm. cupcakes. Oh, look at these, the little Mardi Gras mask. And they are soaked in champagne and all sorts of goodies. Ooh, can't wait to dig into that. Yeah. We want to know, because this is Fat Tuesday, and of course Lent is tomorrow, mm -hmm. what are you indulging in today? What are you getting fat on today? <laughs> king cakes. Yes, think about that and let us know an SA Live case out on Facebook and Twitter and you might see your answer pop up during our show in just and a then, few minutes. Of course, with Lent, that mm -hmm. means a lot of good fish dishes. And Luby's is here, and boy, do they have some mouth-watering dishes, four of them. Oh my goodness gracious, that looks really tasty. All that and more when SA Live continues. Sunny for the rest of the day with a high near 66. Those winds really pick up tomorrow, gusting up to 40 miles per hour. We'll stay in the 50s. And then we've got a freeze early Thursday morning, gradually warming up into the weekend. We'll be back into the 70s. And Ursula helped me with my French. It's Mardi Gras. That's right. les bon temps roulés. Wait a minute, wait, that's how you tossed it. Then. Well um, done. Okay. So we're, we're all dressed for the occasion. Ready to go. We're ready to go. Celebrate Mardi Gras. You look like a friend. Happy Mardi Gras, y'all. So how do you say this? Les ailes, les bon temps roulés. Fired up. I say live. She's ready. When it starts it start? now. What Spidey said. Yes, indeed. Hey, deep fried English. Mr. Otherwise is known as the beignet. Yes, it is Fat Tuesday, and we have the top spots in town for you to get a bite of this New Orleans, or I should say, Nolens there you favorite go. dessert. Well, a New Orleans hurricane with a Texas tequila twist. We're shaking, mixing, pouring some cocktails. Perfect for Mardi Gras. And get those masks ready. We are DIYing some festive decor and more for the little ones on this Fat Tuesday, also known as Mardi Gras, y'all. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Tuesday, and who's gonna find the king in the king cake? Oh, it's also the Tuesday before Lent, and we're taking it all in, of course, on this Mardi Gras, and what a fun packed show we have for you. King mm -hmm. cakes, cocktails, and mm -hmm. Cajun eats. Boy, that sounds like a party to me. Right, yes, so, indeed. yes, we want to ask you today, what is your favorite, you know, like, what are you filling up on, right. on this Fat Tuesday? Mm -hmm. uh, could it be sweets? Mm -hmm. Could it be uh, perhaps beef? Because a lot of people yes. don't eat that. Spirit, for sweets, what is it? Something like that. Because <laughs> it's bought all on our show today. So we want to know, let us know, and uh, we hopefully will uh, show some of your answers coming up just a little bit later on. Well, all hail 
the, th the king cake, and why not three different ways? This place has the dough to make it happen. Nadler's Bakery is known for their baked goods, family-owned vibe, and serving up smiles, too. The owner, Hans Nadler, started the baking history working at Handy Andy Supermarkets. Remember those way back when? Well, his family, they got five grandchildren. that's carried on the whole family tradition. They make all sorts of breads and cakes and pastries and all nom, sorts nom, of nom, 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 good nom, 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 yummy nom. stuff. Yes, joining us today is Alexia Nadler Mendez to help teach us some of their family tips and tricks, of course, for baking. And you guys have a special Mardi Gras section on your website, right? We do. And we do. look at everything you brought. Yes, you do bring the smiles. Yes, okay. lots um, of fun stuff. Let's talk about the significance of the king cake. Well, the king cake is a uh, cake that they bring that they brought to the three wise men it was something that they did and um, babies underneath it and so whoever gets the baby gets to host the party the next year it's a big fun celebration now is it a special type of because it's almost a bread it's right? a Danish dough so it's a sweet dough mm -hmm. and then we fill it with different types of fillings whether we do raspberry and cheese almond which is most traditional Ooh cheese or apple and cheese. Ooh, and then of course you have to top it with all the great colors too, right? right? Yes, you uh, green and purple and gold are the main colors. Yes. All right, but first you have to put a little bit of the good stuff on. So here, that's, right? the, that's the uh, icing that we Ooh. use and you just mm -hmm. smear it right on top. It'll be so much fun with your hands. Oh yeah, no, that's next. <laughs> <laughs> we don't shy away from messy so, on so this show, especially when it's like tasty. This? Just mm -hmm. smear it right on there. Ooh, Ooh that's kind of therapeutic, Ooh. you know. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, as far as the fillings, you mentioned a few of them, but they can really be filled with, I mean, chocolate. They can be done with yeah. anything, yes. Um, because we make so many, mm -hmm. we kind of keep it totally mm -hmm. together with certain ones. Mm -hmm. So tempting. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do, it. Right don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Now, if somebody is still, if they are having a party tonight. Uh, you still got king cakes laying around there? We do. We made plenty of king's cakes, so they're welcome to call us uh, at the bakery and come in and pick them up. We do close at 5 today. Okay. So make sure you, you get there in, in plenty of time. Yes. What is your favorite thing at the bakery? Oh, I'm a bread lover. I love our croissants. Can't go wrong with bread. <laughs> and one of the most popular items there is strudel, which is my personal favorite. I do, apple I do strudel. Love your strudel. We mm -hmm. do apple strudel, and Mike's favorite, the bread and butter pudding. Oh, the bread pudding. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yeah. We were there a couple of years ago, I remember, uh, trying to make one of the king cakes. I think I did okay. You did? And then also some of the breads that come up for uh, Easter and Passover, the hollow bread, yes. as a matter of fact. Yes, that you were making the hollow bread, yes. Bread. Okay. Go with this, and so oh. when somebody gets one of these, and then the little king, the little baby Jesus, which I just got icing all over, then you just hide that somewhere. You hide right? that right up underneath there, and take it to the party. Mm -hmm. And then the person that gets it, what's the duration? Sponsors the party the next year. <laughs> that's 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 it. There we go. All right, and for okay. people oh, that yeah. don't and then we you... have lots of Mardi Gras mm -hmm. cookies that we made as well. Mm -hmm. You can make masks. You can write Happy Mardi Gras on there. Um, what do I want to write on here? So, anyway, um, where are you located for folks that have never been there before? We are located at 1621 Babcock Road, right in the Medical Center area. So right off 410, just go right up there and kind of tucked in the corner, right? Yes, yes. And you do custom cakes, and some of those cakes are incredible. Everything. Mm -hmm. We do custom cakes. We have standard cakes for those who forget to get a cake at the last minute, we can help you out there. Um, our strawberry whipped cream is the one we're most noted for, but our white chocolate champagne, which these little mask cakes are made out of, are really good. White chocolate champagne? Yes. Oh my I think goodness. you may have to pass one of those over so we can taste that. <laughs> I don't know what design I'm doing on this cookie, but. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, and they're, and they're so cool with those masks. Okay, you want you want to try one? <laughs> you, you, so do you. Ever yeah. since you said champagne earlier, he can't he can't help himself. Okay. So it's got a white chocolate mousse in there, and we layered oh. it with oh. raspberry, oh, wow. and then they're soaked with champagne. <laughs> it's all about that. You'll be happy. It's all about that. that. So, it's yes. all about that. Okay. okay. Well, Go eat it now before Lent. Right. Exactly. <laughs> because today's the day to party. That's right. right. Today's the day to party. party. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like more information about Nadler's Bakery, of course, just head on over to our website, 
EssayLive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Thank you so mm -hmm. very much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, it's not a bistro. It's a bistro, Cajun yes. style. And our Jen Tobias Drusky is live at Walk On Sports Bistro right now. Some of the flavors of Louisiana and an over-the-top Fat Tuesday menu. Hey, Jen. Hello. Yes, talk about over the top. We're here at Walk-Ons, and we are truly getting a taste of New Orleans. I'm so excited. I love Mardi Gras. I have culinary coach Matt Scherer here with me, and you you got things going. Tell me about what you're making here. We sure do. We're going to be making our Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras mahi, but we want to walk through some, some basic steps and show you a little bit of our scratch kitchen. So we're going to start with our creamy corn grit. So we have our corn, we're gonna caramelize those, okay. thank you, with a little bit of sugar. And while those are simmering, we are going to make the corn grit. So we start with our heavy whipping cream, and then we're going to add our water. Okay. Thank and, you, Jen. And we just love grits. I know I went to visit New Orleans, and that was one of my favorite things I had was the jalapeno cheese grits. Ooh. So this is definitely New Orleans, Yeah, right? they have less of a kick since they don't have jalapenos, mm -hmm. but we uh -huh. will be having the cream corn base. All right, next, we are gonna get this to a boil and then we will go with our chicken base. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. And we will follow that with our cornmeal. Okay. So the cornmeal is what's going to thicken this up, but we wanna make sure that we evenly stir this so we don't get too much of a gritty corn grit. Oh, okay, so that can happen. <laughs> yes, it can. I've never made grits. This is really neat to see. So is this one of the customer favorites on the menu? This is one of the favorites. We feature it in a couple entrees as well as a side option as well because it is so popular and it does have that flair of Louisiana. Mmm, with the corn and that mahi-mahi. So the seasonings too, I'm sure it's all about the seasonings, right. right? We use a blackening seasoning which is going to have a bit of a kick to it, but it is, as you can see, an, a nice char on there. Ooh, it's perfectly beautiful, seared. yes. And so, what is the tip to good grits? So good grits is, again, the texture and the creaminess of the cornmeal, not to overdo it. Okay. And a little bit of love. Uh, yeah, a lot of love. How about a lot of love? Okay, so what's So now that these are thickened up, we are going to add the corn that we've been sauteing. Okay. And also, we're going to use cream corn to give it an extra creamy Ooh, texture. That's what this is. Here we go. So we're going to add this. Beautiful. So many little steps, but it just comes out so amazing. And once we stir this, this is going to come to a little thicker consistency over a few minutes. Okay. And what it turns out to be is right down here is our corn grits that we have on the line. So okay. what we're going to do now is we're going to build the Mardi Gras okay. Mahi. Let's do it. So we have a plate here and a little flair that we do is we do put a little bit of lemon juice around the rim and hit it with a little blackening seasoning just okay. to get more of that Mardi Gras kick. All right. So you're going to put the grits down. First, so we're going to put two, two heaping scoops of grits right in the center. Okay. And next, we're going to top that off with our blackened mahi. And we're going to hit it with our special Louisiana sauce, which is a creamy mushroom and crawfish sauce with a taste of Louisiana. So that sounds go, like my kind of sauce. I love it. <laughs> it's excellent. Beautiful. And we're going to go right around the outside. Okay. And this is so good for Lent as well, you know, because obviously tomorrow's Ash Wednesday, so this Absolutely. is a good option here. Some of our homemade onion rings are gonna go right over the top for okay. presentation, and this is great for the guests to see it as it hits the table. Look how beautiful that is. We'll finish it off with mm. our homemade okay. garlic bread. Stop it, it keeps getting better. <laughs> and a spoon to serve. Beautiful. Mardi Gras mahi. Thank you so much, Chef Matt. And if you think this looks good, you know our David Elder went out to the Hebner location. Yes, there are two locations. The food there, everything that he got to see, it was so delicious and they came on set as well. So it's all homemade from scratch here in the kitchen and truly delicious. Now we're gonna meet with the Heatner general manager. Yes, he came out to Hollywood Park just for us. I have Reed here with me. Hi, Reed. Hi, Jen, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. So, Reed, you're the general manager at the Hebner location, but you came out today because you want to talk to us about the story. So I'm going to dive in. This looks amazing. But what's so unique about Walk-Ons? Okay, Jen, so let me tell you a little bit about Walk-Ons. Walk-Ons was founded by Brandon Landry and Jack Warner, and they were actually Walk-On basketball players at LSU. That's the name, right? Uh -huh. And they didn't get to play a lot. In fact, Brandon Landry, during his senior season, only played seven minutes. But he was playing for 
the love of the team. So the name on the back wasn't as important as the name on the front. He was willing to go the extra mile, sweat, do whatever it took, all the practices, everything, to do whatever it took for the team. So one night they were flying back from a game against the University of Tennessee, and they drew on a little beverage napkin a diagram of their dream of building a restaurant. Wow. So when they got back to LSU, uh, after they graduated from college, mm -hmm. they couldn't get anybody to finance them. They went to six banks, in fact. But once again, that walk-ons mentality, that perseverance yes. came on for them, and they finally got it financed. Here, try this. Yes, okay, yeah. so let's talk quickly. Yeah. What we have on the table, because if you have drinks, you have 49 beers on tap. I can see that room over there, but obviously definitely a taste of New Orleans here. Absolutely. So this is the 32 ounce Death Valley. That's like 32 ounces of Louisiana Ooh, love. That's good. Uh, it's got a little <laughs> kick to it. And it's a great Mardi, Do Mardi Gras celebration drink. Uh, so over here we have the beignets, which I think you should try. Okay. They got the powdered sugar on top. And uh, that's a Louisiana flavor for you right there as well. I know y'all made some of these in the mm -hmm. back. This is actually the Mardi Gras Mahi, and you can see it's spectacular. Hand-breaded onion rings, handmade corn grits, everything delicious. And over here you have your voodoo shrimp, hand-wrapped stuffed jalapenos with cream cheese and bacon on those once again famous uh, homemade corn grits, as well okay. as garlic rustic bread. You know, all I gotta say is, stop it, it all sounds so good. I'm going to dig and if you want more information, you should come out here and try it. Celebrate Mardi Gras at Walk-On's two locations here at Hollywood Park and at Reed's on Hebner Oaks. Just go to walk-ons.com. Ooh, can't talk. I swear. I'm okay. I swear. Back to you guys. I'm going to have me a beignet. Mm. So, so good. good. I'm, doing, I'm kind of doing my happy dance right I here. Know. Even just looking at that I food know. there. I know. The food looks amazing. <laughs> we have such amazing food here. All right, go. All right. Still <laughs> Ed, you may be thinking about what you'll be giving up tomorrow for Lent, but you don't have to give up the flavor mm. with Luby's Lenten Specials. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, and next, how to get the little ones involved in the festivities with DIY Mardi Gras crafts for the family. Welcome back to SA Live's Mardi Gras celebration. And now we know there's plenty of activities for the adults, but what about the kids? Well, uh -huh. our big kid at heart, <laughs> Dina Anderson, is here. Yes, and yes. you've got some fun DIY crafts to snack on and do with the whole family. Yes. And snacks to snack on. We'll start with the snacks, right? Because okay. that's what I'm the kids like. They yep. And I'm a gluten-free girl, so I try to keep it gluten-free, but mm -hmm. there are a few things in there that aren't gluten-free. Okay. But that's I can just, live with that. you know, some Chex Mix, <laughs> some rice cereal, and then this is some yummy candy melts. This one's blueberry lemonade <gasps> and, cr and orange cream sickle yumminess. They smell amazing. And then these are the little six lids. I got these oh, at Party City, but I think yes. craft stores sell them too. Okay. But they have the big bags of them. And those are chocolates? Yeah, these are just, they're called six lids, and they're chocolate. Okay, don't mind if I do. I Thank know, you. right? That's why I was asking, you know that, right? I've been eating all this stuff all morning long. So what I did is I just took some of this, and this uh -huh. is cool, the Wilton pot, it just comes out, so you okay. can move it. Okay. And, oh. and this, this you can actually touch. It oh, that was my next question. Yeah. I mean, I'm it's like, hot, but it's I'm not going to burn Oh, yeah, it's not bad. So. Okay. And you're just going to drizzle it and stir it. Drizzle. Yeah. So, drizzle. Well, yeah. okay, it's more of like a... A a glob in yeah. and stir, <laughs> and just okay, kind of that I've got up. going on. Uh huh. And okay. so once you have that stirred, you start adding all. Let's think. This is where the kids have fun. Right. They just start adding all the yummy stuff that they want to add into it, and then they come up with this yummy little treat here. I added some graham cracker cookies, and I added. Um, so stir this up. Marshmallow. First. Yep. We'll go ahead and see here. Take one of these spoons. There we go. Thank you. There you go. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, stir that mm -hmm. up. And while you're doing that, another treat you can do is just take pretzels and dip them in the different colors. And you could even add some sugar, uh, sprinkle stuff to it, like sugar glitter, and make the little pretzels that they can munch on as well. And this- It's so good, right? But it, you know, it's it, so what's good. funny is, it's not overly sweet. Right. Even though it is very sweet, but that's really good. Yeah, the and flavors together are great. And, and you can get these candy melts at um, some of the grocery stores, the craft stores, things like that. Or Wilton.com, you can order them on there as well. And so they're so good. <laughs> Just the okay. smell is so right. good. Now, some of the crafts that, oh, this. Well, this first. is our other snack. So this is really easy. These are oyster crackers, a quarter cup of oil, and then you can use a Cajun spice. I got this while I was in Louisiana, so mm -hmm. of course I'm going to use that. And a little bit of salt, and that's it. It's the simplest little treat that you can make. And I put that on my eggs, too. That's really good stuff. I'm sorry. I'm really noisy over here. <laughs> yes, you, yes, you are. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You got to love Chex Mix, right? 
<laughs> and these little oyster crackers are so good. Aren't they? Yeah. I know, they're so good. I Ridiculous love those. Good. So the mask is fun, and this is Ooh. easy for the kids. And most of this stuff is just things you have around your house. Like, this is just some cardstock I had or poster board. Okay. If not, you can pick it up at pretty much any store, CVS, H-E-B, all of those. And I just added some glue and decoupage and glitter. Glitter is what it's all about. Your colors, your purples, your greens, your golds. Now, and then all lots of, the, of glitter. The beads, the feathers, things like that. Can you get these at craft stores? You know, I got these at Party City for like 39 cents or something. But you, yeah, the craft stores have them. I think even some of the grocery stores have them. It's Mardi Gras. Everybody has all this, okay. right? <laughs> and then these I got at the craft store, the little um, glitters and the little sequins and things like that. And I just used glue to put the glitter on and then decoupage for the when you want to put more than just a little bit of glitter. And and just glue and the just ribbon glue right the on ribbon there. And right you on. Are, uh, Look at that. They're all set to go. That way the oh, kids can make their own mask yes. and have fun with it. Oh, cool. Yes. That's a great mask. Yes. And then we had a skirt somewhere, but I don't know where it went. But Oh yeah. <laughs> but all to right. make a skirt, you just take tool and mm -hmm. cut it into strips. And I got this tool online, but you can get it at a lot of the fabric stores. And we've made these before, but this is just something fun and simple for the girls to make to make for a party. If you're going to a Mardi Gras party or something. Or just in general. I mean. Twist it and then boom, that's all you do. And then you just do about a hundred of those. Okay. <laughs> in your different colors. And then we have our popper. Now, I used to make these. I don't know if this one's going to work. Go ahead and see if it'll work. There's okay. a baby in There's there. The little, the little baby's <laughs> in there. And you said to try and find the baby and grab hold and of the And grab baby. it and then just kind of let it go. So you're going to, and you got to hold the balloon Where as you hold he? it. Okay, there he is. Okay, so. Okay, and pull it and see what happens. Watch out, John. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> no. Fall start. One more Fall time. Fall start. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Wee! There you go. That's another way to do it. <laughs> Yeah, pull real fast and go. rest, Mikhail. <laughs> Make it fun, Mardi Gras, exactly. <laughs> but these are just toilet paper rolls, and then you can add construction paper to them, or you can paint them with just the acrylic paint, and then add all the glitter and the things. And you could even seal them on both sides and just let them pop them too. Yeah. So that's a fun way to do it as well. Okay. And let the glitter and fun go. Oh, look at you over here. here. Well, I made the mix. Oh my okay. gosh, it looks so. And then you gotta <laughs> let it harden. How that <laughs> <laughs> so much fun for your Mardi Gras party tonight for the yes. kids if they want to help celebrate. And you always have so many wonderful ideas, Adina. And if you'd like more craft fun and treats and something to keep Fiona busy for hours. Totally. Thanks for making that Chex for my party tonight. I appreciate no that. One less thing I got to do. <laughs> <laughs> Head over to our website and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Adina, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Happy Mardi Gras. All right. Still ahead, we are mixing and shaking up a few Mardi Gras themed cocktails in honor of... Fat Tuesday. And next, don't worry about giving up meals you'll, you love this year. Find out what Luby's options are to keep the flavor in your meal. Welcome back. Well, today is the day to party hard, right? Because tomorrow is the day to give some of it up. Ah, mm -hmm. but you can observe Lent and still have some really, really great flavors in all those mouth-watering dishes. Executive chef Antoine Ware from Luby's is here with some of their home-style scratch-made Lenten specials. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah. How are Good afternoon. you? Hello. All mm -hmm. right. So fish is big, of course, on meatless Fridays over Lent, and you've got salmon over here, right? Yes, absolutely. And what you're going to do is just take a little bit of the blackened seasoning. It's kind of like... Mm -hmm. And what, Sprinkle over it. What's this dish called? This is a fennel crusted salmon. The fennel crusted salmon. Okay, yes. Which is this and, one right here. Yes, sir. Okay. And go ahead and add the onions to your butter. All right. So we're gonna. That's two tablespoons of butter, one cup of onions, mm -hmm. a half a cup of fennel. Oh, the fennel first. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Fennel me. Mm-hmm. Yep. And then just let this kind of cook down. Just let it saute cook. down a little mm -hmm. bit. Saute. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for you the just want the onions to get translucent. So for the purposes of TV, we'll say the onions are translucent. Yes. And okay. then put in the breadcrumbs. Put in the breadcrumbs. Okay. Mm -hmm. All that goes in there. Season it with salt and pepper. Ready? One, mm -hmm. two, three. Add oh, some chopped parsley. To it. <laughs> he tries to do it with flair. And just kind of because because you're just, supposed to, to salt from up high, aren't you? Like anyway, almost like this. Like, like that. Yeah, right. Oh, he, he wants to improve his technique. Go ahead. Oh uh, yeah, 
That's it. A little for what? <laughs> anyway, and then this gets all mixed together here? This, yes. And add the mm -hmm. garlic to it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Put that in there. And this is a great topping. And this goes on that salmon, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So all, all in told, uh, how many dishes for Lent do you have specific? We have four dishes for Lent that we're showcasing this season for Lent. All right. And then this just gets... What? And this is just a that cup. Yeah. would be that. this. Turns into mm -hmm. that. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then and we take this. Just want to pack it, but not pack it. Pack it, but not pack it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so it's a good cook. And that'll help kind of keep the moisture in too a little bit. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. Because right. you don't want to overcook your salmon. Because salmon could get, overcooked salmon could get kind of dry and not as tasty. Now you already seared that though, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. You pre-sear it on both sides for three minutes. Mm -hmm. And after the crust is on, put it in the oven for seven minutes. Yeah, about and what temperature? 350. Okay. And that, and even if you're going to not crust the salmon or just, just yeah. is it best to sear it first? It's best to sear it first. Oh, and searing it creates just like this crust on the outside. It's like, oh my God, I'm moisturizing the inside. Okay. Kind of thing. <laughs> Okay. That's that the greatest was great. thing That's the greatest seen explanation there. I've seen. On how to keep moisture on the inside because yeah. the salmon goes, what? what oh my get? God, I'm creating moisture on the inside. Yeah. I will never forget that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you just endured yourself. I know. I I it. Five. So, so that goes in there and yes. served with some great broccoli. And what's the sauce on there? The sauce is just a basic like lemon garlic cream sauce on mm -hmm. at the bottom of it. All right, and then the mm -hmm. other dishes just going down the line yes. right here. This are... is a seafood papaya. In this papaya, it's just like a classic papaya, mm -hmm. but it's with seafood. It has shrimp, garlic, um, crawfish, um, some fish, and carrots, and just like a basic papaya. Oh, yes. Yeah. And this cool. is um, a stuffed catfish with um, roasted squash and there's some lot of again a lot of fresh vegetables. Yeah, some healthy options with those vegetables. Yes, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, why not, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a cod cake with spinach, horseradish, um, panko breadcrumbs. Again, some egg as a binder, and this is like a roasted rustic tomato sauce at the bottom of it. And, and how long will folks be able to order these? Uh, through Lent season. Through Lent season. All yes. right. And some of those dishes will. Carry over? Carry over and okay. it'll pop up. Let me tell you, that pot pie, oh, oh Nelly, nah, that's good stuff. All right, at all of these locations, beginning uh, seafood specials run tomorrow, February 26th through April 12th. You can find out more about Luby's near you at their website. Just go to lubies.com and click on all the locations tab. Antoine, thank you very thank much. You. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate thank it. you for having me. Love yes. the demonstration about the uh, moisture in the <laughs> Still ahead on SA Live, don't miss out on the Mardi Gras celebration find out about some of the fun events happening around town. And next, what's Mardi Gras? Without the cocktails. Hurricanes, daiquiris, we learn how to make some of the New Orleans classics. Let the good times roll. now with some Mardi Gras cocktails. Yes, indeed. Kristen Ortiz with Dolce Vita Tequila is giving us some great ideas to top off those Mardi Gras parties. That's yes. right. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Mardi Gras. Happy Fat Tuesday. Yes. So a lot of times mm -hmm. we think of hurricanes and all these kind of drinks with rum. Right, exactly. Tequila. Rum, yes. tons of fruit juices, yeah. sounds great, might hurt the next day. Right. So what we're going to do is Rum doesn't some have to have all that fun. Exactly, yes. <laughs> yeah. There's there's plenty of space for the tequila to play. So let's do some cool tequila cocktails and try to keep those calories down a little bit. Okay. Oh, perfect. They're naturally fruit infused tequilas. So okay. there you go, half that the helps. battle. Right. What do we start half with? the battle. So we're gonna start off actually with a hurricane. Uh, so uh, does anybody even know what a hurricane is? Um I I've had them. <laughs> okay. Fantastic. <laughs> Back in my college days. Do you days. remember? <laughs> I Is think it kind so. of fuzzy after it's that? Kind of, <laughs> yeah, and that's kind of your, your common, uh, you know, people will go like, oh, it's, uh, it's rum and fruit juice. Yeah. Okay, well then, you know, what is okay. a zombie? Oh, it's rum and fruit juice. What is uh, this cocktail? It's rum and fruit juice. Okay, so it's okay. all kind of a, the same sort of variation. So we're going to start off in the shaker, yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to fill this with ice. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Do two ounces of your grapefruit infused tequila. 
One, okay. Two, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. then we're going to throw in a little bit of this Monin passion fruit syrup. Now just a teeny tiny because it's a puree. Ooh. So a little goes a long Wrong way, way right. all right? Then we're gonna go squeeze half of an orange in there for some fresh orange juice. This is all about fresh. Fresh, real, gorgeous, okay? okay? And then go ahead and put that on and shake it hard. You gotta really shake them hard with those get, purees. Get, that puree in there. get it all in there, yes. Take okay. your hurricane glass right here. Mm -hmm. Put a little more ice. Mm -hmm. Fill that. Actually, take the, that whole top off. Take everything off. Throw it all in there. All in there. All of it and in together. And to really give it that extra little mm -hmm. zing, mm -hmm. add some sparkling water on top. Sparkling, right? and you know this helps too. It's a lime sparkling water. So it adds to the whole fruit juice flavor. Exactly. Just add a little pinch of natural cranberry juice for color. Oh my goodness. There you go. And give her a little little garnish there. With, That's part of the fun. What do you want to garnish Right with? there, yeah. Any, anything here? Any, any one of them. All right, there we go. That's fun. <laughs> awesome. Does it take you right back? Takes me back to college. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> Okay. Great. So the next one is a zombie. All right. Again, fruit juice, rums. Okay. okay. But let's do it with a tequila, a pineapple infused tequila. Okay. Traditionally, zombies are a little more on the pineapple and tropical side. So we're going to do an ounce and a half of that. Mm -hmm. Then half an ounce of Naranja orange liqueur. Going to do some fresh pineapple juice, a little splash. Take a lime from over there, squeeze that in there. Lime. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And then when we get to our puree, this is a guava puree. Again, just a little, Woo! a little do ya. Find those these, these you can find in most of the liquor stores okay. or online, Amazon. And then the tequilas you can find at your major liquor stores. Right. So take that tiki glass. That's a fun, fun whole tiki thing. glass. The whole thing, it. just went, like we did. Okay. Throw in a little more ice. All right. Top with your lime. Sparkling. Okay. What am I going to uh, add to it? Just another garnish? Just another garnish. And your straw. Throw a little bed in there. Voila. And this is a good little assembly line I we have going. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Last right. but not least, we're doing a strawberry daiquiri. Now, okay. this is going to be on, on the rock. So, yep, you were great. I got Grab it. Grab that lime and tequila. We got 30 tequila. seconds. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. A little bit of strawberry puree. Boom. Strawberry puree. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it up. That's it. Okay. That's it. Easy, simple. You're getting your workout today. <laughs> Pour into the daiquiri glass. There daiquiri glass, thank you. You ready to garnish? You already know what's coming. Here we go. Okay. There's that lime soda. Woo! And boom. And All right. Look at that. <laughs> All right. And then, you want more? Yeah. Some Head over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Again, Dolce Vita tequila available in all and those great flavored tequilas as well. Kristen, thank you very much. Thank you guys for having Good me. Good seeing you as always. Hey, thank still you. ahead, get your little ones ready for kindergarten. Find a great pre-K option to make sure they're getting a jump start on their scholastic career. Well, now for a fried Mardi Gras favorite. We're not talking about a shrimp po' boy. We're talking beignets. Ooh, these are from Nolo Restaurant, and some of these are the birthday birthday cake beignets. Mm, good. Well, I better read before I take yes, a bite here. Yes. Jen Tobias Strusky rustled up four spots here in San Antonio. <laughs> San Antonio, where you can find these puffy mm. pockets of doughy goodness covered mm. in powdered sugar. Mm. Mm, take a look. Mm. Mm. Beignet. The word means to rise, and these delicious treats are found at a handful of spots. We started with Nola brunch and beignets, and Mike helped whip those up. But if you're looking for French-style market beignets, head out to the Pearl Farmer's Market every weekend, and you'll find the beignet stand. Their eggless dough is carefully fermented to make for a softer crust, and the beignets are made on site. What sets them apart? The beignet stand creates a new flavor profile every single week. On this visit, we got a taste of this tribute to peanut butter and bananas. Yes, you heard right. It's infused with the nutty feeling. It's then topped off with banana chips, grounded up with cinnamon toast crunch cereal. Hmm. Go to the Pearl to see what they cook up next. Head north to the hill country for beignets served up only on the weekends. Bernie Grill is located off Main Street in Bernie. Chef David uses 
extra yeast to make them even fluffier. They also double sip their powdered sugar to add that special final touch of sweetness. Over at the Lost Cajun, they're serving up traditional beignets all day, every day. The Louisiana native started the Lost Cajun after moving to Colorado. He missed his Cajun cuisine. Stop in for your beignets and maybe an entree too. I hope you got your beignet fix and happy Fat Tuesday. You know, this is just one of those little mm. treats that it, it is, there's mm. nothing like it in the mm -hmm. world. Yeah, again, these are from, and you had the birthday cake there. Mm -hmm. It's kind of stuffed. It is so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Who's reading next? You. Ha -ha. Yeah. Once again, hey, tomorrow on SA Live, after the partying and the beignets comes the fasting. If you're giving up beef for Lent, we're making some tasty dishes that will make sure you don't miss the meat. Plus, it's the tallest, fastest wooden roller coaster in Texas, and we step up to the challenge and test it out the fun of the new Texas Stingray at SeaWorld. Catch every twist, turn, and screams tomorrow at 1 on SA Live. Thank you for being my ride or die. <laughs>
For more information on how to get your child enrolled, just call 210-407-0345. That's 210-407-0345. Or visit neisd.net slash discover pre-K. Oh, here are some Mardi Gras events tonight. Head on over to the VFW for the Zulu, Zulu Association's annual Mardi Gras party. This year, it will be a bigger venue, a bigger party, and have more parking. Tickets are only 10 bucks, and there will be plenty of free parking. Gates open at 4, so check it out tonight. And don't forget about Pat O'Brien's. They're going to have a huge Fat Tuesday celebration tonight to close out the Mardi Gras season to grab a hurricane, a hot toddy, and one of their many other festive drinks. And don't forget about all the king cakes and all the beignets, because Lots and lots of cakes and beignets. And we're on a big old sugar. Right yeah, now. we're gonna <laughs> crash hard in a little bit. <laughs>